Hi everybody, Sarah and Keith again with the Leaders Lyceum and another installment of Weekly Thought Fuel. Um, hey, we just kind of wrapped up this series on what do the best leaders tend to do and how do they have this cadence that is almost innate to them. And uh, I, I, I hope you engaged in some of the best practices that we talked about over the following weeks. When we were together last week, we uh, challenged people to maybe look at some assessments, any assessment that you can find, and we talked about the Enneagram. Turns out, I'm a seven with a five sidekick. I'm a one. Uh, I'm number one. I don't remember what my... But she is always voice. number one. That's the main thing to remember. Um, hey, one of the things that's interesting, and we're going to kind of finish out the year like this, is that we're going to talk about getting to understand ourselves better through Jungian kind of type theory. Mm -hmm. And this is a model of personality that underpins a lot of the assessments that are out there. You've probably taken something to Myers-Briggs. We use a golden personality type profile, the DISC assessment, strength finders, what color are you, what animal are you. They're all kind of based in the same model. And what it is is a measure of how you prefer to interact with the world, where you get your energy from, how you take in information, how you decide what to do with it, how you structure your life. All these different things and we find that the greatest leaders really have an understanding not only of themselves and the way that they're wired and their preferences yeah. but also then how they're different from other people so understanding the bigger model the bigger context of this so that we can see that we are actually fundamentally fundamentally different that it's not just a better and worse version and what this yeah. leads to is the ability to not just manage these differences, but really leverage them to the effectiveness of what we're trying to pursue, usually organizational goals, but it could be family goals or values that we're trying to get to or objectives that we're trying to achieve. So we're going to take some time over the next uh, eight weeks or so, and we're going to go through some of the global factors. We're going to go through the four kinds of minds. Again, as Sarah said, when we know ourselves first, it is so much easier to understand what others bring to the table in comparison to us and what's not easy for us to bring to the table. Yeah, so if you've taken one of these assessments before, go find it, pull it out, review your results, share them with somebody who knows yeah. you well. If you haven't taken it, there's tons of them online for free. Um, the longer the assessment, the more correct or accurate your results probably are. They usually charge for those, though. Yeah, but find it, take one, and then next week we're going to start breaking down um, the different factors and the different things that we can understand about ourselves. So that's the task this week. Uh, so until then, we will uh, look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> Bye. Take care.